Hey everyone, Ian here. I'm the head of sales and customer success here at Sellersnap, the leading AI Amazon repricer. One of the pulls at Sellersnap is that we use an AI technology in order to optimize profit and profit margin. What we do is we scan the competitive environment in order to get the buy box at the highest possible price. Our AI repricing strategy is one of the cornerstones for our sellers repricing strategies throughout the Amazon marketplace. There might be situations where the AI is not optimal for every single listing in your Amazon store. That's why Sellersnap provides customization tools in order to get the most out of the platform and get the most out of your Amazon business. Today, we're gonna to be talking about three scenarios. The first is the no purchase condition. Second is inventory age. And the third is what to do when you're up against a specific competitor on your listing. Customization of repricing strategies can be done in two places. The first is within the store level settings in the form of a preset. Once a preset is created, you can set it up in bulk on as many listings as you'd like. The second place that you can customize repricing strategies is on the repricing level itself in the repricing settings tab. In order to set up these repricing methods, you'll need to set a default repricing method. And in this case, we're gonna use the AI method. From there, we can nest as many conditions as we'd like in order to hit our specific goals. The way that the hierarchy works is it looks at the first condition first and moves down in the list to see if each condition passes. If none of the conditions pass, it will then move back up to the default repricing method and continue from there. As the AI aims to get the buy box at the highest possible price, this means occasionally the price might go so high that it is undesirable for the consumer. In these cases, sellers will use the no purchase condition in order to capture that next sale. The way that the no purchase condition works is by saying, if I don't get a purchase in the last X amount of hours, apply a new repricing method such as set the last purchase price or win buy box. Both of these conditions will be more aggressive and help you get that next sale. The next scenario we're gonna be speaking about is inventory age. It's common that sellers find themselves paying extra storage fees for items that are sitting in the FBA warehouses for extended periods of time. These items can be overstocked items, seasonal, or low velocity items in general. The way that seller snaps repricing conditions work for inventory age will require sellers to state if I have X amount of items over a certain age, such as 91 to 180 or 181 to 270, then apply a more aggressive repricing strategy similar to the no purchase condition, like set the last purchase price or even win buy box. The last scenario that we're gonna talk about is when there are specific sellers on my listing. Sellers will often find themselves in a position where they're competing against other Amazon sellers day in and day out. Through the use of data and regular observation, we can start to determine what are the strategies that my competitors are using and how do I wanna set up my listings to compete against them. One really common scenario that we find is competing against Amazon themselves. And so a really common setup that our sellers will use is that they'll say, if Amazon is on the listing, then I want to take a certain action, such as match them, price right above them, or price right below them. This way, we can use the customization within Sellersnap in order to continue to hit those goals while focusing on profit and profit margin. We've spoken about a lot of different repricing scenarios today. And as you can see, Sellersnap offers some really great and creative customization tools in order to get the most out of your repricer. And if you haven't so already, go check us out at sellersnap.io for a free trial today.